Okay. What's up guys, my name's Et, and I wanna to talk to you about Kupo C-Stands. So full disclosure before I get into this video, um, I am a brand ambassador for Kupo. Uh, but that being said, uh, I totally, totally believe in this product. I think these stands are great. And I'm gonna show you a couple reasons why I love these stands so much. Okay, so first I wanna, first I wanna talk about what C-Stands are and why they matter. Um, the stands that you would generally use are something like this. You know, these, these sort of uh, uh, smaller, less sturdy stands. So these stands are great. There's nothing wrong with stands like this, but when you've got something really heavy on here and it's outside or the ground might not be stable, these stands have the potential to become tricky, particularly if you have very, very expensive gear that you're putting on here. You don't want it to be in a situation where the wind is gonna blow it over or whatever. That's where C stands come in. So what makes these C stands so great is that they are super, super heavy. And that obviously makes them a lot more sturdy and harder to blow over or to fall over or whatever. This particular stand is Kupo's 40-inch Master C-Stand. 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 40-inch Master C-Stand. It's like a, a, what do you call it? A tongue twister. <laughs> um, and uh, so this is like a normal industry standard sized C-Stand. Uh, like I said, it's 40 inches. And this is what it looks like without the extension. And if I take if I take it up all the way, we're cutting me off. Yeah, I think I'm still in the frame. It's fine. Uh, if I take it up all the way, this is totally gonna. It's fine, dude. Leave it there. This is totally. I mean, I'm almost I'm almost hitting the ceiling right now. So uh, these go up pretty high. I don't know how high it is, but I'll put it in a up. I'll. And then, obviously, if you put the extension arm on there, it gets a bit more crazy. Another thing I personally really love about these stands is um, these, I don't know what this thing is called. I wanna call it a knuckle. I don't think it's a knuckle, but whatever this mechanism is called, uh, these feel like you could kill somebody with them. Um, I've had a few C stands in the past where the part of the mechanism came out and then the whole thing wasn't, it couldn't like hold itself together anymore. And this feels really sturdy and strong. I don't, this doesn't feel to me like it is ever gonna fail on me, uh, which is important. Like I have literally lost parts of a sea stand in a river. No kidding, I did a shoot once and I dragged the sea stand out into a river and this thing came out and fell into the river and that sea stand is lying in my garage at the moment, which is a total pain. Uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not convinced that I would have that kind of issue with the sea stand. Another thing that is really great about these C stands is the knuckles on the on the on the grips and on the on the extension arm. These knuckles are so nice to hold, and uh, they're not like small and fidgety like I've had on previous C stands. So I really appreciate how this feels. Again, it feels really sturdy. It feels really strong. This once this is sort of locked down, it doesn't feel like it's going to go anywhere. Okay, so now I think let's do the. Let's do the legs, so you're gonna have to change your shot there. You know, just back it up a little bit there. Is that cool? Okay. So, probably my favorite uh, feature of this C-stand, let me just take off the... Probably my favorite feature of this whole C-stand lies at, in the base. And uh, usually when you're working, when you're folding up the C-stand, you're spending your life... Let me actually show you. So usually when you're folding up a C-stand, you're spending your time trying to, how to try fold the legs like that so that you can do your thing. And then you have, you know, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It works. But let me show you what a badass you can be with a Kupo C-stand. Let me just make sure I do this right. So there's a little clicky mechanism over here. And all you gotta do is pull on that, bam! And when you wanna open it, bam! Now you are the coolest guy on set by a long shot. Okay, so that is the, that is the Kupo 40 inch Master C stand. If you are in South Africa, 
and you would like to get a stand like this one or like that one or like any of those, uh, just contact Sunshine Company. I'll link them below or on the side or wherever or maybe in the video, I don't know. I'll put it in somewhere and um, yeah, check them out. Uh, if you don't have a C-stand yet, you haven't lived yet. Uh, C-stands will change your life. Uh, I think that's all I have to say. So I just discovered a thing that I'm gonna show you on the, on the compact stand that, that actually makes these Cooper stands even cooler and I didn't know about that until just now. They say that with a C-stand, you should always put the weight or the, the light to the right of the knuckle. And the reason for that is because when you put the weight down, the weight helps tighten, the weight will tighten the knuckle. And, it, and the problem with putting it on the left is that if you put the weight on the left, the weight will actually loosen the knuckle. But can you see how the knuckle isn't loosening as I press down on this? The knuckle is staying just as tight all the way through. So if I were to tie this down like really, really tight, this isn't going anywhere and this isn't getting loose. And uh, that's so cool. I actually didn't even realize that the Kupo stands did that until just now. Okay, so an, another, another cool C stand tip is that, well actually with any light stand, you always want the weight of the light or the thing that you've got on the stand to go over a leg. But not just a leg, you want it to go over the big leg, right? And a good move is to always put a nice big old sandbag over that leg as well. So you'll have your, your light up there, and this way things are not going anywhere. The reason for this is because if you don't do that, here's what happens, right? You don't want that. I actually have a video of me destroying a, a Pro Photo B1 like that. Okay, so that's, uh, that's like a little C stand, light stand pro tip for you right there. So yeah, and also, by the way, this is the compact stand. I will put a link to a video that, uh, that we made, that uh, Banat made about this stand in the below or whatever. This is the 20, the 20 inch. Okay, I think I'm done.